Welcome, travelers, to Adventures in Security. In this video, we explore the elements commonly implemented as part of mobile device management solutions. Links for this video's script and a selected bibliography are included in the video description. If you like what you see, please remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss future content. Mobile Device Management, MDM, solutions are essential tools for organizations aiming to maintain control over their mobile devices. These solutions are versatile, capable of managing devices under various ownership models, including Bring Your Own Device, BYOD, Choose Your Own Device, CYOD, Corporate Owned, Personally Enabled, COPE, and Corporate Owned Business Only, COBO. MDM ensures that regardless of the device ownership policy, organizations can enforce consistent security and management protocols across all devices. Each MDM solution has its own set of features, but common features are often included in each comprehensive solution or available in a supporting solution. Let's look at the most commonly implemented. Device enrollment is the process of registering mobile devices with the MDM system, manually by the user or automatically through various methods, such as email invitations, QR codes, or NFC tags. For example, with Microsoft Intune, users can enroll their devices by signing in with their work credentials. This process ensures that the device is recognized by the MDM system and can be managed and monitored. Enrollment typically involves installing an MDM profile on the device, which allows the MDM solution to apply policies and configurations. This step is crucial for bringing devices under management and ensuring they comply with organizational policies from the outset. Device configuration involves setting up and managing device settings remotely. This includes configuring Wi-Fi, VPN, email accounts, and other essential settings. For instance, VMware Workspace ONE Unified Endpoint Management, formerly AirWatch, allows IT administrators to push configurations to devices, ensuring they are set up according to company policies without requiring manual intervention, ensuring that all devices have consistent settings, which can enhance security and productivity. By automating the configuration process, organizations can save time and reduce the risk of errors that might occur with manual setup. Security management is a core function of MDM solutions, focusing on protecting mobile devices and the data they contain. This includes enforcing passcodes, enabling encryption, and setting up security policies. For example, IBM MASS 360 can enforce encryption on all devices, ensuring that data is protected even if the device is lost or stolen. Security management also involves monitoring devices for compliance with security policies and taking action if a device is found to be non-compliant. This feature helps organizations protect sensitive information and reduce the risk of data breaches. Application management allows IT administrators to manage the apps installed on mobile devices, including distributing, updating, and removing apps. For example, Citrix Endpoint Management allows IT admins to deploy business-critical apps to users' devices and ensure they are always up to date. Application management also involves controlling which apps can be installed on devices, helping to prevent the installation of unauthorized or potentially harmful apps. This feature ensures that users have access to the apps they need for their work while maintaining control over the app ecosystem on managed devices. Remote wipe and lock are critical features for protecting data on lost or stolen devices. Remote wipe allows IT administrators to erase all data from a device, while remote lock can render the device unusable. For instance, Manage Engine Mobile Device Manager Plus can remotely wipe all data from a device or lock it, preventing unauthorized access. These features are essential for ensuring that sensitive information does not fall into the wrong hands, providing a safety net for organizations, allowing them to take swift action to protect data in the event of a security incident. Data containerization involves isolating business data from personal data on the same device, ensuring that business data is stored in a secure container that is separate from personal apps and data. For example, BlackBerry Unified Endpoint Management uses containerization to protect corporate data on BYOD devices. 
This separation helps to prevent personal apps from accessing business data and vice versa. It also means that if a device is compromised, the impact on business data is minimized. Containerization is a key feature for organizations that allow employees to use their personal devices for work. Compliance monitoring and reporting provide visibility into the security and compliance status of devices, helping organizations ensure that all devices meet security and compliance standards. For example, ScaleFusion offers compliance monitoring and detailed reporting, allowing IT admins to track the status of all enrolled devices. Compliance monitoring involves checking devices for adherence to security policies and generating reports that highlight any issues. Device location tracking allows IT administrators to track the location of enrolled devices. This can be useful for locating lost or stolen devices or ensuring that devices are being used in approved locations. For instance, SOTI Mobi Control provides real-time location tracking of devices, helping organizations keep track of their assets. Location tracking can also be used to enforce location-based policies, such as restricting access to certain apps or data when a device is outside a designated area. Over-the-air OTA updates allow MDM solutions to push updates to devices remotely, ensuring that all devices are running the latest software and security patches. For example, Samsung Knox Mobile can deploy OTA updates to ensure that all devices are up to date with the latest security patches. OTA updates help to keep devices secure by ensuring that they have the latest protections against security vulnerabilities. Simplifying the update process, reducing the need for manual intervention, and ensuring that updates are applied consistently across all devices. Remote troubleshooting allows IT administrators to diagnose and resolve issues on users' devices without needing physical access. For example, Ivanti Neurons for MDM provides remote troubleshooting tools that enable IT admins to diagnose and fix issues from a central console. This feature can save time and reduce downtime by allowing IT staff to address problems quickly and efficiently. Remote troubleshooting tools can include remote screen sharing, diagnostic tools, and the ability to push configurations or updates to resolve issues. Content management involves managing and distributing content to mobile devices. This includes documents, media files, and other business-critical content. For instance, Mirador Mobile Device Management allows IT admins to distribute content to users' devices securely. Content management ensures that users have access to the information they need while maintaining control over how content is distributed and accessed. This feature can also include content filtering and access controls to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. Network access control allows MDM solutions to control access to corporate networks based on device compliance. This ensures that only compliant devices can access sensitive company resources. For example, Cisco Meraki Systems Manager can enforce network access control policies to ensure that only compliant devices can connect to the corporate network. Network access control helps to protect corporate networks from unauthorized access and potential security threats. It ensures that devices meet security standards before they are allowed to connect to the network. That's it for this video. Again, if you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, be careful what you click.